from Puerto Rico. Let's check in with Randolph Wicker, who's going to celebrate a very infamous Puerto Rican named Sylvia Rivera. Yes. Randy, fill us in the street. Sylvia Rivera was the founder of the Worldwide Transgender Movement. She and Marsha B. Johnson started a star house back in the 70s. I knew Sylvia years and years ago when she was a young thing. And she about you at times, even though we didn't get along in those days. Can we became about, best friends. Can we, can we establish what year Sylvia Rivera was active? She was active in GAA days back in 69 and 70, 70s, and then she went kind of got a job for 10 years, and then she came back in She wasn't born here, I'm sorry, she was, she's, born, she's native, uh, not native, she was born in, in uh, Bronx, yeah, New York. In Bronx, New York, but she, she was a Puerto Rican mixture. And, uh, Venezuela. And, uh, I knew Pete, I knew her for many years. Here she is with Marshall and Johnson. And, uh, does that mean that? Your relationship to Sylvia? Well, we were enemies for a while. We had misunderstandings in the beginning, and then we literally went from being arch enemies to being best friends. And this is her. She always wore, and I have this button that she always wore on my, on my office at home. And uh, Marsha B. Johnson was the house mother of my son, gay family, and the two of them started Star. And they have come to be recognized in history now. She was heralded. and her energy has inspired Sylvia Rivera Law Project. Now what is the Sylvia Rivera Law Project that's currently active without Sylvia Rivera? Yeah, well it's a project of people that are working on issues of equal rights for transgender people and uh, they named their project, they named their group after Sylvia because she was such a trendsetter and a firebrand early on. She had problems to resist her redemption because she began as a prostitute and alcoholic and so job and she's still a functional alcoholic and then she went over to this MCC church right, giving out and she got off she got off the alcohol she totally sobered up and started getting a real job working Ryan Wright money feeding the homeless which is just what she was desired to do and but her roots go back I have her roots she's also part of that as well and go back to this to this uh Can you tell us about what is Sylvia Rivera way? When did that happen? Was she alive? I, I'm not real sure. Sylvia Rivera way is actually on the street corner of Christopher and Hudson Street. She used to work as a manager of my store. I had a nice store there. I'm sure that's why he picked that place to put up Sylvia Rivera. It was named in her honor. So the vote, there be people that, that actually the statehood crowd may never vote statehood. Uh, they have the right to do so, but there have been several votes on it each time. They have failed to go vote. There's so many things that we have to give up. And they became just a regular state. Now, were you ever in Puerto Rico with Sylvia? Because she no, did work in your store. I never was, but you know, he's 
20, 30 times. One year I took every employee I had to Puerto Rico. I mean, it was. Uh, I was and afraid. Sylvia was not working for no, you that no, year. No, that was that was way way back. I began my button. Uh, that was when I had my button shop and I had my uh, uh, early days on my art deco line. So we didn't really make friends until Marsha P. Johnson's funeral. I said we have to make up and talk. And I did this incredible interview with her living at a homeless shelter. They called it Gay Pier. They were all alcoholics down. And then there was another pier that was filled with tran Also had a lot of trannies. One house in the middle of them that was neutral territory. You can see that on Vimo. And you spoke in Washington, D.C. at the oh. Human Rights Campaign building about Sylvia Rivera. What was that about that you were continuing her legacy? Well, I, I mean, um, I stood in a panel at the Spanish the Latino GLBT, Latino History, Project. GLBT History Project. And I talked about, because they were talking about the same folk on a cat cloud. And I said, no, she's really a. Uh, her story is a story of redemption. I want to tell you one other funny story. They invited us to Black History Month, and Sylvia and I went together to Marsha B. Johnson, and they thought we were a couple. The guys running it. So Mar Sylvia and I were taken. And we, 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 did, we weren't going to correct them. You know what I mean? They had us there because you know, we were there, and, and uh, because I, we worked at Uplift, and, and Marsha had lived with me for so many years. We got such a kick out of being mistaken as a, as a gay couple. <laughs> now, how is Sylvia Rivera continuing to inspire you today? Because I know she's resonating with you. You carrying around her picture. You still tell her story, um, and people are still active. It's Sylvia Rivera Law, well, Sylvia know, Rivera Law Project. But how know, personally has Sylvia carried forward in you? Well, I think what you really realize is you get all your credit after gone. That's what they said about uh, Hibiscus. It was an actress that I remember when she came out in the paper. Hibiscus, great star uh, of uh, the. Uh, you know, is, is dead, and Marsha B. Johnson opened the paper and said, Hi, this is could have used that public. I used to play games with Sylvia. I used to play popularity games. You see how many hits we had on you know, popularity search names? I remember she was ahead like 19,000, and I was like at 15 or 14, and I was gaining. And I said, Oh, I'm where I'm going to catch It was like just a fun game, you know? Because I put a friend off and find. And so I said, But I'm going to bury you, you know? Last time I checked, I was still at 20,000, and Sylvia Rivera was at 2 million. <laughs> now, you used the word bury. If I understand correctly, you're working on a monument to Sylvia Rivera, or that is a designer yes, of yours? Yes, Tell me I about am. that. I have three plots at Congressional Cemetery in Washington, D.C., Washington, D.C. plots in the entrance way, three adjoining plots, and I've decided I want to use those plots as erect a monument to Marsha B. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera celebrating trans people, not just in memorializing those two, but also celebrating trans people. And my own little placard, and I'll be buried there too, it'll be just a little thing on the side. But the real thing is, I think it's important to have a transgender monument. You know, my epitaph to say, Don't Wicker, champion of homosexual love, all genders and children to the Sylvia Rivera and Marsha B. Johnson will be standing tall over my actions.